Hey Libra, what's going on? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. Hope you're doing well. I'm coming to you with your general love reading for November. We're going to see what's going on with you guys in love. Love messages for my Libras out there. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is a general love reading, so it won't resonate with every Libra out there. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Check your Moon, your Rising, and your Venus sign. If this hits home, please show your girls some love. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate it greatly. If you want a personal love reading, I have a special going on till 11-11, November 11th. $33 for a love tower reading, okay? So $33 till 11-11, okay? Also, I have another YouTube channel, just so you're aware. Serendipity Twin Flames Tarot. It's for those that are on a twin flame journey. There's some messages for you, tarot, as well as oracle cards. So check me out. All right. Vimeo has your bonus reading, okay? Um, dig into your person's energy a little bit more. Either you're going to find out how your person feels about you, what's on their mind, what's in their emotions and feelings that they're not telling and speaking of, and how they would like to move forward, okay? So check that out on Vimeo. All right, let's get into our reading. Libra, what's going on with Libras out there? What does Libra need to know? I feel there was a decision that had to be made or it was recently made with whoever you're dealing with. I saw the Two of Swords peeking out and the Two of Pentacles. So that's someone who may have been juggling, may have been unsure, indecisive, okay? You may have made a decision for the Libra. Let's see how this plays out. Libra, Libra, Libra. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for November. This is a timeless reading, okay? So, you know... And also, the energy could be um, interchangeable, okay? So feel free to switch the roles if it makes more sense. So when I say November, it's, you know, it's, it can take place in November, but it certainly could take place over the next several weeks, months, okay? It also could happen in the recent past, okay? Just keep that in mind. All right, so Libra, we got the High Priestess in reverse, okay? You could be done with the Pisces. I feel like whoever you are dealing with, you felt that, you were you were ignoring your intuition, okay? You felt like your intuition was blocked. You may have sensed something was wrong, but you just didn't pay attention to it. I'm getting there were some red flags here with whoever you dealt with. Um, yeah, right now you guys are going towards your fulfillment. What's going to make you happy, okay? I feel like at one point, this person was your everything. They were your all. I think you had a lot of wishes and desires for this person and with this person, you um, felt like this person really made you happy at one point, okay? You were just shy of that 10 cup, right? So you guys deal with the water sign. Two of swords came out. See, your person is in the energy of the two of swords. So this is your person's mind, okay? It also could be yours. You guys may be both very, very conflicted right now with the two of swords. Okay, this is you being um, a Libra. But this is in your person's um, mind right now. So your person feels very conflicted right now. They feel like they want to make a decision. There's a decision to be made, but they don't know how to, okay? And it's regarding the... Um, the fulfillment or their fulfillment in this connection, okay? Um, and the Two of Swords, essentially, you know, they're kind of stuck, right? They're trying to make a decision, they're at an intersection, they're at a crossroads, trying to think logically about this situation, trying to do what makes sense. Now, they view you as the Queen of Cups in reverse. So Libra, they could have certainly hurt you, okay? Um, they could have definitely made you feel like you were the only one who was giving to this situation. You may have poured all of your love, your heart, your mind, your body, your soul into the connection. You love this person unconditionally, okay? You may have even blocked your intuition, feeling like this is my person, you know, they make me happy. You know, there may have been some signs, some yellow flags, but you may have just honestly put that to a side, okay? And I feel you did it because you truly love this person, right? So the Queen of Cups in reverse is telling me that you're feeling hurt, you feel maybe emotionally drained right now, you gave to a situation, you probably gave to someone who probably didn't deserve it, right? Um, and they were kind of, you know, they're up in their head about it, right? So let's see, in your, post, in your person's emotions and feelings, we got that Knight of Wands energy. So your person does want to come, take some kind of action towards you. The Knight is in pursuit of something, the Wands, passion, desire, excitement. So I do feel like you're dealing with someone who could be a little bit more younger, okay? Could definitely be more 
sexual, passionate, okay, driven by their passion, their senses, their physical, um, that kind of thing. Um, and they also could be a fire sign, a Leo, a Sag, and Aries. But this is someone who wants to take charge, wants to come towards you, okay? Now, with the ninth energy, it's not always very um stable right so they can kind of come in and then they can kind of leave so wow how they see moving forward with you is definitely um moving toward you with some kind of communication passionate fiery communication so this is someone who still thinks about you libra okay you're on their mind heavily two of swords they want to make a decision about you um and it's about coming forward it's about taking action it's about getting something back up and running excitement someone is inspired to do something someone is definitely very also attracted to you getting a lot of physical attraction you turn them on they certainly could look at you in a very sexual way the Nine of Swords in verse, you're dealing with someone, Libra, who is all up in their head, right? They, they're stressed, a lot of anxieties and worries, sleepless nights, thinking about you, uh, thinking about something that may have ended, right? We got the Nine of Cups, the Nine of Swords, just again, shy of the Ten. Something certainly could have almost came to an end, um, but they realize that you're their fulfillment, they, that you make them happy, that you truly love them, you love them unconditionally, right? Let's see. The world. Okay, so this is all happening. We got the world, we got divine intervention here, right? The universe has your back and the connection. How's this all gonna end? The eight of cups in reverse. So you're you're dealing with someone who wants to come on back, Libra. This is someone who, again, may have been unsure about you in the past. They didn't know how to move towards you, they didn't know maybe they wanted commitment, they wanted a relationship. Um, they certainly could have cut you off or left or kind of put you on hold with the two of swords okay this is someone who was conflicted at a crossroads okay they certainly had another option perhaps as well but this is someone who wants to return so if you if you try to let go if you walked away if this person walked away this is someone who wants to come on back eight of cups in reverse okay y'all know what that means yeah the knight of swords so libra this is someone that you may have not had good communication with okay this is someone who may have cut you off they may have run away okay literally ran away um you know dodged you didn't want to deal with you didn't want to communicate with you um i feel communication could be also very immature but i also see someone acting okay there's someone who wants to take action toward you knights all about action knight of swords knight of wands passion coming in very very quickly very impulsively after a period of silence not talking no um communicating whatsoever right because this four of swords energy this is someone who may have ghosted you um didn't want to talk to you right or maybe been spending some time in isolation especially with COVID 19 right everyone's kind of like you know up in their homes it's not really going anywhere but i'm also feeling this person took it a step further right there was silence they didn't really communicate with you they didn't tell you what was going on how they felt right they kind of just maybe took a step back they may have just took a break in love okay all right let's see libra let's see how this all plays out i'm gonna get some clarity here for you guys if this hits home please show me some love like share comment and subscribe i appreciate it greatly all right let's get some clarity on that four of swords and the knight of swords this is someone who may have out of nowhere okay they may have cut you off they may have been very cold detached from you okay libra you may also be in that knight of swords energy that's you um you may have certainly um wanted some truth from this person clarity communication after you know this person may not have been communicating with you may have ghosted or silenced you blocked you right yeah the full universe i feel like whoever you dealt with they may have went quiet on you because they were untrusting of love okay this is someone who wasn't ready to take that leap of faith wasn't ready to jump into the next level okay so this is someone who may have had a fear had a fear of moving forward here with you and they probably didn't tell you they never gave you the clarity okay What's this Knight of Swords? Yeah, the Hermit, see? So we got the Four of Swords, Knight of Swords. So this is someone who was spending some time in hermiting, right? They're getting their thoughts together. They're very much trying to find peace of mind. The Four of Swords is about um, withdrawing. It's about um, resting, recovering, but doing some real deep thinking. And that's what that Hermit is about too, okay? So someone here is taking a break, right? They're getting their thoughts together. You may have caused this person to really look within um really trying to do some soul searching doing some reflecting on them themselves some of their fears um working through their fears maybe they're even doing some shadow work here with the hermit and the four of swords it could be a virgo you're dealing with we also got aries with the fool so this is someone who may have been foolish right they may have made a, a, a bad decision okay about um you or may have literally made no decision right in terms of being able to move this forward so what's this high priestess about you may feel very um 
strong uh strong connection to this person i'm getting telepathically okay with that high priestess card something also could have came out in the open if this person was keeping something on a hush that high priestess in reverse is something here is coming out in the open the veil is coming off some of you guys are dealing with a Pisces or another water sign, like a Cancer, certainly with that Queen of Cups. So we got the star in reverse. I'm not taking all these cards. This could be an Aquarius in your life, okay? Yeah, I feel like in the past, your person wasn't optimistic, okay? You may have even no longer was optimistic, okay? Because, yeah, there's something that this person did or they were fearful of. They ran away from you. And so I think you perhaps gave up on this person. But I'm also feeling the reason why this all happened is because there was a lack of healing, okay? It came from some kind of deep-rooted issue your person was dealing with. Some inner child wounds, okay? Now, the Nine of Cups is, well, you guys both made each other happy. You were each other's wish fulfillment, dream come true, okay? The Nine of Cups, wow, we got the Three of Swords. And even with that, this person still broke your heart, right? Three of Swords. You also could have been dealing with someone who was very overindulgent, right? The Nine of Cups talks about someone who just wants their cakes and eat it too, right? They they drink too much. They party too much. They like a lot of tension, whatever it may be. Too much of something, okay? And it certainly could have hurt you, okay? Um, Yeah, I'm getting certainly with that Knight of Wands. This person could have been very unclear about what they wanted. They could have been misdirected, okay? They may have been interested in other people, other options, okay? Whatever it may be. It's caused you great hurt, Libra, right? Three of Swords, some emotional pain. You had to sever um, ties with this person. It's some kind of loss you may have experienced, okay? And certainly on a deep emotional level, right? With the Queen of Cups. All right, what's this Two of Swords about for this person? What's on their mind? There's some kind of decision they want to make, okay? While the death, so your person wants to put an ending to a situation here. And it, they're also thinking about commitment, Ten of Pentacles, right? So Scorpio energy with the death card. This is someone who knows they want change, right? There's some kind of ending that came um, in this connection, perhaps because this person failed to make a decision, right? They took their time, whatever it may be. Maybe they made the wrong decision, right? They had another option, this is someone who's thinking more logically now. They're thinking with their head, not with their heart. And they're thinking about long-term stability, right? With the Ten of Pentacles, this is about commitment. This is about family, home, marriage, settling down. And I feel like your person is changing their way of thinking. That There's something here they're putting to rest. There's something here that they know is no longer serving them. And that's why we got the death card. And putting an ending, transformation, change here. Perhaps wanting commitment now. Well, that's commitment is definitely on their mind is what I'm seeing. Now, how they view you, Libra, is the Queen of Cups in reverse. So they've hurt you, right? They've left you emotionally um, hurt and um, really drained, okay? We also got the Five of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. So they definitely see you as their soulmate, right? The Four of Wands, 11-11, Union, soulmate card, okay? It's all about harmony, peace, coming together, engagement, celebrating, right? But right now, your person feels distant, right? They're left out in the cold. You're feeling left out in the cold. You guys aren't together. There's definitely a feeling of lack, okay? A lack of a union because of the distance that you guys um, uh, have right now because perhaps they've walked away here right in the past with the Eight of Cups. So I do feel like your person misses you. The Five of Pentacles is here. Someone still feels left out in the cold, feels... Um, Hurt feels neglected, feels abandoned. They certainly could have abandoned or neglected you if that's how they look at you, right? But they also look at you as their soulmate, their person, the someone that they want to come into union with. And that's what that Knight of Wands is about, taking action and getting what they want, okay? So what's this Knight of Wands about here and your person's feelings and emotions? Wow, okay. Let's, let's, I'm going to take all those cards here. But this is someone that you're dealing with. Again, they were not committal in the past. I saw that King of Pentacles in reverse. What's this Knight of Wands? This is someone who wants to come rushing in. Wow, the devil. So yeah, your person realized there's something here that they were tied to in an unhealthy way. It could have been obsessions. It could be addictions. It could be um, any something that got in the way of them being able to offer you something. Okay, maybe they want to come take charge. Let's see. Maybe even take charge and kick start kick this kicking this devil toxic energy um away. Okay, so let's see what this devil's about. Some of you guys, it really just is a Capricorn you're dealing with. Okay. Take it how it resonates. What do we need to know for the devil? So this person, I do feel like they acknowledge that there's something here they need to work on, okay? That's gotten away in the connection. Ten of Swords in reverse, right? So your person has caused this ending, right? We got Ten of Swords, betrayal, hitting rock bottom. They've devastated you in some way, right? Um, stabbed you in the back. 
they're wanting to overcome this, right? Ten of Swords reverse. They're wanting to pick things back up. They're wanting to, one by one, take these swords out so that they can move forward here. So that they can perhaps get on the same page with you. How they want to move forward is the Page of Wands. There may be some kind of communication coming your way. Um, Seven of Cups. So, yeah, your person wants to communicate. Okay, yeah, they may have had options in love. But also, I'm feeling your person wants to communicate because they're very confused right they have a lot of emotions here for you right the seven of cups cups is about emotions and feelings give me another card here for the seven of cups wow the magician in reverse okay so this is someone they know they played tricks on, there's someone that they may have felt they that played tricks on them okay with the magician in reverse gemini energy this is someone that maybe um it could be on karma it could be someone they else they were dealing with that you know they had an option with they may have been tricked okay or fooled by something there could have been some kind of communication misunderstanding i'm feeling between you guys that may have caused a separation others of you guys your person's wanting to communicate to you telling you that yeah they're, they're very confused they made wrong decisions in the past they weren't able to manifest there's something regarding communication that's coming through um i feel like also you could be dealing with someone who, yeah, they want to clear the air with you, but they're still feeling, they, they, they want to tell you that there's still emotions that they have for you, but they're not in a place to manifest. They're not in a place to bring something to light or create something here with you, okay? Because um, they're just at, coming up as a page, right? So a page is a very small offer. They can't really do much, but there's some communication coming through. The Nine of Swords, your person is definitely very stressed. Okay, up in their head, sleepless nights, anxieties, and worries about this connection here. Okay, let's see how this plays out. I'm also stick around. I'm gonna pick out some oracle cards for you guys as well. So this is again knight of knight of swords. Okay, this is someone who again wants to come rushing in, right? Wants to come rushing in because there's some kind of truth here. There's some kind of communication. They want to tell you something here, and this is just after they get out of this Knight of Swords energy. So if they've been taking a break from you with the Four of Swords, the Hermit, right? They haven't been speaking. They've been quiet. They've gone ghosts on you, right? Now they're coming in this Knight of Swords energy. They have something to say. There's something on their mind. we got the World card here. There's some kind of forward movement they want okay this is also the universe supporting you in your connection here universe has your back they're guiding you down the right path here that's what spirit wants you to know and we have yeah see the nine of wands spirit wants you to uh, persevere you're gonna you're gonna make it okay you may be feeling like the wounded warrior in love you may feel like you've given it your all you no longer can move forward right you have no faith you've given up right the star in reverse you're no longer optimistic that something can manifest spirit is saying um persevere you're stronger than you think okay the eight of cups in reverse the outcome is what someone is coming back right wow we got the page of pentacles Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So this is someone that wants to offer you something, right? They want to offer you stability. The pentacles is, is something of value, okay? It's tangible. It's an asset. It could be um, it could be literally a phone call. It could be them reaching out to you, um, sending you a message, okay? The page of pentacles also just be extending something, extending, wanting to um, offer something to bring us back um, in the right direction. Let's get another card here for the page of pentacles someone who wants to offer something wow the high priestess some of you guys know what's coming okay you may know this person again it could be a pisces could be a um a uh, cancer you may know that this offer is coming i feel like a lot of you guys again you've gone through a period of silence there hasn't been communication right this person may have feared love they feared taking this leap of faith they had trust issues they broke your heart there was betrayal someone got left out in the cold here they haven't been able to manifest with you because of something toxic but you guys know there's some kind of communication coming is what i'm seeing the high priest is some kind of inner knowing yeah the three of wands you guys have been waiting for this what you've been waiting for this person to come back and finally reveal some truth to you right I clear the air perhaps after a period of silence so that's what i have for you libra let me know if this resonates for you like share comment and subscribe if you want a personal love reading i'm offering a 33 dollars love to her reading till november 11th 11 11 is the cut off um, also check out vimeo for your bonus reading for november 2020 how does your partner feel okay take care libra stay safe and stay blessed